The Biden administration is expected to lift Title 42 next week. Now, this has been used during the pandemic to stop a majority of migrants at the border. Now, several Republican-led states are challenging the expected move, saying lifting that order is unlawful. Joining us now to discuss is the Vice President of the Border Patrol Council, Art DeCueto. Art, good to talk to you tonight. Thank you for having me, Jude. I appreciate it. Well, first, for folks that don't know about Title 42, I mean, we throw that word around a lot. We've explained it, but not everybody watches the news or is able to read. So um, give us a little overview, an explainer of how Title 42 works. Well, in, in the easiest ways to explain it, it allows those individuals, single family, single like uh, male adults that are coming across that are claiming some type of asylum, if they can't prove it, they get sent back. So that's what it is. Uh, obviously, still family units are still coming across. The issue with removing it completely and the numbers that I'm being told uh, is over 50 percent of what is being apprehended, at least in the Tucson sector, is being returned to their country. Now, we know that there's many individuals entering right now. There's a lot of gotaways coming across. If you remove Title 42, it turns into a free for all which means anyone that just simply claims some type of asylum, they're going to be released in the United States. But people don't understand the domino effect. That's the hardest thing to explain. When you have large groups that are coming across asking for asylum, some of them may be uh, real asylum claims. The majority have proven to be false claims. But what that is now doing is it's making Border Patrol agents having to respond to those areas where there's large groups. Now the agents have to take care of processing, transporting. In some instances, they have to do hospital watches. And what that causes is less agents are out in the field. When there's less agents out in the field, that's when their domino effect occurs and you have the criminal cartel bringing drugs across. That's why you're seeing drugs come into the United States at a higher number than ever before. That's why you're seeing the gotaway numbers go up higher than they ever have been before is because the cartels realize that they're preoccupying agents with processing, with transport and other duties that are not necessarily law enforcement duties on the border and that they take advantage of to bring their products and more individuals into the country that may have potentially a true criminal background. Yeah, this, I mean, I hate to simplify it or oversimplify it, but you're talking about splitting uh, a defense in football. And and what my concern is, uh, among many, is the safety of the agents. Because, I mean, I'm reading alone just last month, April, we saw 234,000 migrant encounters 234,000 so title 42 goes away you're saying exponential growth of at least 50,000 and that's not only record worthy but also extremely dangerous for the agents wouldn't you say no it's extremely dangerous and, and like i've tried to explain many times to individuals because a lot of people they concentrate on just those individuals that are being apprehended the gotaways are a big concern uh, you know, just by looking at the numbers, it saddens me. And I believe that future generations are going to suffer because of lack of security from the current administration. And you don't see them come down here. You don't see the borders are anywhere. Uh, at the end of the day, it seems that agents are out there on their own when not even the higher ups within management are speaking up on behalf of the agents and they're not saying anything. Uh, but, uh, you know, sure as it's happened before, once, you know, a lot of the managers within Border Patrol themselves, once they secure their retirement, then all of a sudden they want to come out and speak on what should have been done and what mm -hmm. could have been done. But while they're sitting there drinking the Kool-Aid, they ain't, they ain't speaking up. You know, it is interesting who's speaking out. Um, Mayorkas, so we're talking about the director of Homeland Security, the Homeland Security Secretary. He calls these open borders unsustainable. So lifting, uh, you know, Title 42 has, as you've proven, trickle-down effects. But what do you think the judge is going to do? I mean, what are the possible outcomes um, by Friday? I'm not sure. It is, it's scary to think of that they will remove it. I hope... Uh, common sense prevails and realize that you know getting rid of it it also is going to affect on a humanitarian aspect because now what you're doing is since you're removing agents from the line because they're having to do other duties what that will do is it'll increase the criminal element not just with the drugs but also with the sex trafficking and with the child smuggling into the country so it's it is a huge domino effect and people need to understand that it's not just one thing being affected it's many things that get affected and at the end 
The only ones that are lining their pocket and benefiting are the criminal cartels. Indeed. I would encourage our viewers to Google rape tree and you will see what's actually going on with so much of what's happening on the border and how they're crashing the border. It's not helping migration, uh, legal migration. All right. Thank you so much for your time. And of course, we'll be talking to you again for sure. Thank you.